Karen Carpenter, the pop singing star, died today of cardiac arrest. She was just 32 years old. A spokesman for the family said that Ms. Carpenter had battled anorexia nervosa for years. Anorexics are compulsive dieters, sometimes to the point of starvation. Autopsy tonight failed to determine the cause of the death of singer Karen Carpenter. She died in California today at the age of 32 of cardiac arrest. Coroner says it could take weeks. Around, nothing to do but frown. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. Karen had that incredible voice that everybody said, oh yeah. It, it, what we used to call instant radio. You know, you, when the radio went on and you heard Cam Carpenter's voice, it took about three seconds and you knew who it was. That's uh, amazing. An, an incredible instrument. Wonderfully controlled. And it, it was, she sang s simple, and I, I love that. I mean, she just, she sang the song. There was not a lot of tricks. It, it's, it's something that I've grown up to sort of emulate, that style of trying to just deliver the song. And um, Karen was one of the masters of it. Four and a half years, I never heard Karen Carpenter hit a sour note. I mean, any, any off-pitch notes. I mean, she was always bang dead on. It was Karen's haunting vocals and in the early days her drumming that crystallized the Carpenter's music. I get goosebumps thinking about how beautiful she sang. She was like an angel almost. I mean, the, the purity in, in her voice was so fantastic. But Karen Carpenter's voice in the world of music, jazz, classical, everybody knew this was an instrument that was rare. Um, a dark voice with a tremendous range. Uh, she knew how to control it. She knew what it meant. She understood the emotional tie. She had just a, a, an otherworldly talent, but I think sometimes that can almost be a burden to have immense, God-given, natural talent. She really gave me a lot of support. She was, she was a true friend before we were really friends. You know, and that's, that's a quality that not too many humans have. Strictly in the musical sense, she has left a, a very strong imprint. And that's damn good in your life. I mean, that's really good. For musical, for considering all the musical talents that's been around, she has a very strong place and will always have it. It won't go away. Um, you knew that the music they were making was really affecting, just because of Karen's vocals especially. She's left us an example of what can be done when you have talent and an instrument that is exceptional and an attitude also that was special she's a good person her her voice and her music will ring on will for for uh, forever she um i just thought she had one of the most beautiful angelic voices in the world and i just know Right now, uh, she's up there with God, and he's enjoying it, you know, because I'm sure she's singing even up there. She was a dynamite lady. <laughs> she really was. Very unassuming, you know, she had this magical gift that, that she used beautifully and gave so much joy and happiness through that. And, um, you know, just... She was just a real person. Same kind of troubles we all have. And um, she wasn't she wasn't pretentious um, or or anything. She was just real.